The Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge is one of the best phones of 2016. And apart from the features it offers, the curved display on its edge makes it a very attractive device. But that swag comes at a hefty price tag. So Lenovo with its new smartphone, the Zook Edge, is trying to bring that feature into the mid-range segment. If you don't know me yet, I'm Sid. And in this video, I'll be telling you all you need to know about the Lenovo Zook Edge. And I'll also be telling you my opinions on this device. But just as a prologue, at the price it is being offered at, this phone feels like a steal. But before I tell you about Zook Edge, here is something that you must know. We at Narivan Mobiles are conducting our annual Smartphone of the Year Awards, where you get to pick and vote for your favourite smartphone and crown it with the title Phone of the Year. And when you vote for your favourite smartphone, you also get a chance to win a lot of cool goodies. All the information is on the link below. Do vote and I hope you win. So let's first start with the most prominent feature of the smartphone. It's designing. Now the phone is a bit bigger than the Zoom Z2 Plus and I'll talk in the next section why is it so. But the phone now packs in a 2.5D glass both on front and on the back. Now this feature does two things. Number one, because of the curves, the phone naturally settles well in the palm and it makes it feel better in the hand. And number two, of course, it looks good, which means with the new sex appeal the phone has, it looks better on the eyes too. And the other major change in this phone's design is that the fingerprint scanner is now beneath the U-Touch button. Now the purpose of that, uh, to be very honest, is that your hands can be greasy, your palms can be sweaty or you just have washed your fingers the fingerprint scanner will still work because it's beneath the display. So that's a neat feature to have in my opinion. And now let's talk about the sheen of this device, its display. 86.4% of the front panel is covered with screen, a full HD screen which company claims to be more bright and more vivid as well. And Lenovo also claims that the display now is anti-scratchable and it's also easier to grip with one hand. However, the neat feature about this display is its edge, the curved implementation on the sides of the phone. However, there is no feature associated with it that Lenovo is claiming, which means that it might just be an aesthetic implementation. But remember I told you the phone is a bit bigger? Well, the reason for that is that this time the screen is 10% larger. Zoom Z2 Plus had a 5-inch display, while the Zoom Z, well, the Zoom Edge has a 5.5-inch Full HD screen. And now let's talk about performance. The phone packs in the latest Snapdragon 821 CPU clocked at 2.35 GHz, which means on paper, this phone along with the OnePlus 3T are the fastest CPUs out there in the market right now. Uh, coming to RAM, you get two variants, a 4GB RAM variant and a 6GB RAM variant. So the performance is top notch. And incidentally, according to my estimates, if this pricing is global, these are going to be the cheapest phones with 821 CPU and the cheapest phone with 6GB of RAM. And this excellence in performance continues when it comes to software, where you get the latest Android Noga, which is not available on many devices as of now. Lastly, let's talk about the cameras and the battery on the smartphone. The camera optics are similar to Zoom Z2's shooters. You get a 30 megapixel rare camera, uh, which I don't think is going to be as good as the OnePlus 3T because Zoom Z2's camera was not. And simply because f2.2 aperture is not the largest anymore in the town. Also, while the phone does have uh, electronic image stabilization EIS, it lacks an OIS, which is an optical image stabilization. The front camera also remains the same as an 8 megapixel shooter. Uh, and in terms of battery, it's got a 3100mAh cell with a USB OTG connector with the fast charging available on board as well. And that brings us to the end of specs you need to know. And now it's time for me to give you my opinions on this device. Well, firstly, the devices are priced very competitively. For 22991 for the 4GB variant, which roughly translates to uh, 23,000 rupees in India, in Indian rupees, and 24991 for the 6GB variant, which would be around 24,000 rupees in India, the devices are possibly the best value for money smartphones you can buy out there. Uh, and given the specs they have on paper, they are a powerhouse. More importantly, for health enthusiasts, there are 10 different kinds of sensors which are in installed in this device, making it a cool gadget to have for fitness freaks. But is it perfect? Well, I'm afraid not. Now, I haven't used the device in real life, so I cannot comment on how it performs in the real life. But there are two things I can foresee, two major chinks in this armor. Firstly, the battery. Zoom Z2 Plus had a good battery life, but that's because it has a 5-inch screen along with a 3500mAh cell. With the Zoom Edge, 
They have increased the screen size to 5.5 inches. They have made the processor faster. They have given you 6 GB of RAM and reduced the battery capacity to 3100 mAh. So I think that it might be a problem in the future. Second major issue is the camera. Uh, Zoom Z2 Plus had above average cameras, but that is because the pricing was discounted. But when you increase the price, the same cameras would be called below average when you compare it with the likes of OnePlus 3. So that in my opinion would also be a flaw, at least on paper. But barring these minor quibbles, the device on paper seems excellent. And it is also exclusive for China as of now. Uh, and there is no word as of now on its global availability or Indian availability. And given Lenovo Zook's track record, you might have to wait for a while. But do let me know in the comment box below, would you like to see this device in town or not? And uh, what do you think of this phone overall? Also, do not forget to subscribe to our channel. Do not forget to vote for your favorite smartphone and make it the phone of the year. And do not forget to hit like, press share. But more importantly, do not forget to come back and see more videos here. My name is Sid. I'll be waiting.